Okay, just gonna quickly go over making a drive shaft here. Since that one over there that was on the car is bent really bad and wobbles back and forth. And basically, as you can see here, by the groove, I've taken it's nothing but my four and a half inch grinder. Cutoff wheel is better, it makes a thinner line, but I'm always worried a cutoff wheel will break and they can break and cause damage. And I, this is how I do it. I know it sounds crazy. This is for shortening. Now, if you have to lengthen it, and you get into stuff like that. Let's just, that one's been done three times, which is kind of ridiculous. So, and actually four times. It's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. I got two wins out of it. <laughs> but now it's time to retire it. So yeah, do that. I don't really have to shorten this much or at all, but I'm gonna since I thinned it out, grind it a little too close to the steel itself. I'm gonna grind it down a little bit more, and then it's fun as you can see. It's trying to beat these on and off and I'll put the other yoke on it but that's basically start at the center of the weld I like to grind it flat and then find an area like here and grind it back this way back and forth till you find the seam and then the only reason I do this is I like to reuse all this stuff otherwise if you wanted to you had a huge bandsaw you could just cut right through it all and just throw it away but I'm keeping it Never know. This might might put turbo 350 in the sand rail. Probably not. Probably stick to a 400. But if I need it, I got one. So basically, that's it. And yeah, when they say clock in a drive shaft, it basically just means this yoke is in line with the yoke back there, the front side here. So that's all. You know, people worry about keeping it out of balance. Well, that's basically all you have to do. Is just make sure these are lined up before you go back if you want start make a center line and run it all the way down so you can make it perfect but I've always done it by eyeball and never had a problem since it's only for a derby car there you go that's what we're working on today see ya and there's sort of the finished product I also forget to mention since I wanted to save that yoke and that other drive shaft was junk you got a junk drive shaft you know look at it don't grind more on the drive shaft. Don't worry about messing it up. Save your yoke. That's basically what I did. It's done except for one thing I told you about clocking a drive shaft. Yeah, I'm a couple degrees up. So, but anyways, there you go. Just shortening the drive shaft the K Gilroy way. There you go. See ya.